All right. <laughs> Just let me know. <laughs> oh, we started recording, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I'm host yep. one of three, Louis Tillatore. I'm host two of three, Daikaiju Tony. And I'm last, Adam. Adam Kren. <laughs> <laughs> That look. That Jesus. It's like you, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make a really mean joke about that, but I'll, I'll keep it to myself until after the show. Anyway, before we continue, guys, yeah. we're going to talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the jewel of the Mojave Desert. Um, just to let you guys know, we are doing uh, orders now, right? We're yeah, taking we orders. Take, we're, we ship. We, we're shipping. Yes. We have a store you can come in and shop, yeah. but if you're not in Las Vegas, you can. we'll ship to you. Yes, yeah. the descending kind of ship, not the what fandoms do on the internet <laughs> type kind of ship. Don't <laughs> right. ship. Don't we ship We ship packages us. to customers, yes. We don't ship yes, fictional so, characters. <laughs> yes, so uh, if you want something for that uh, special right. someone or a little something for yourself, you can right. go ahead and go on, uh, what's, the, what's the name of the website here? Cosmic Comics Vegas, or Cosmic Comics Top Vegas. Dot Vegas. You yeah. can buy a, a lot of the cool stuff that we have here. We're showing some of the stuff that we have. You can also you can find share. us on Comic Hub. If you're if the local store in your area ha- uses Comic Hub, you can actually find us on there and shop on there too for us. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So order yourself something. Order something for somebody for the holidays. Right. Like that beautiful, glowing Mr. Boo Earns. I bring you love. <laughs> he brings right. us love. Kill it. <laughs> PX exclusive. Mr. Burns, pop. I mean, Cosmic Comics is in the name, so I didn't want to show comics this week. Oh, that's okay. What you, what you got? Oh, me? Well, yeah. and uh, subject of today's episode, here are two PVC figures from Diamond of the Insomniac Spider-Man. And nice. Here's him on some kind of Spider-Man-themed Spider-Man. display. Insomniac Spider-Man. Yeah, like here's him <laughs> on co- and, like, a cool-looking taxi stand. Top of a ca- taxi, yeah. yeah. And the paint's amazing. Sculpt's great. Yeah, it's the, so good. Yeah, the PVC statues are really nice. The price point is good. They usually MSRP for fifty dollars. They can take a beating, and too, they can take a beating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The sculpts. Fall, be fine. You could just sculpt. Every sculpt that comes out seems to get better and better. So yeah. yeah. What you got? And then last thing I got, guys, uh, not comic book related, but I just found this in the store. <laughs> it, can you see it? It is the Temple of Elemental Evil. It is mm-hmm. the Adventures Reincarnated. Yeah. So it has uh, versions for five E uh, OSR versions, of course. Right. It's all in here and it's both modules and the history and the history yeah of all the this modules. is a really nice like piece and it comes in like a two bu- uh two book set so slip case yeah i actually own it it is beautiful yeah. um, jay leno's in it he's right, right. there <laughs> oh, so God, yeah Jim. grab yourself a copy right. uh yeah and any other cool things that we have in the store you can now order it or you can come down to the store and yeah. you can pick it up all right all right now that we got that out of the way <laughs> so who here is a gamer as in video games Barely, barely. I don't, yeah, video you don't game games. like you used I don't to. Game yeah. like I used no, to, yes. who, who here owns a PS5? Oh, shut up, Tony. <laughs> shut up. Shut up, Tony. <laughs> don't you have a PS5? Just don't, don't, oh, just don't oh. buy them on eBay, kids. Okay, uh, you, you might get a brick sent to your house instead. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. So we're going to talk about some of our, uh, uh, one of our favorite video games each. Right. Uh, we each picked a game that we really liked. Yep. And so. We are going to talk about them now. Now, I, one of my absolute favorite video games is uh, Symphony of the Night. There right, will be yeah. a one-shot about that coming out soon. Right. So I nice. figured since the one-shot is coming out, I would pick a different game. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, that's yeah, a good so, point. Yeah. yeah, that's a real good point. Die, uh, monster. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, all right. So who wants to start? All right. Do you want to go first? Because I know you are you have a good one. Yeah, Tony is I'm itching all, to start I'm his. All, you know. I'm prepped up for this. All right. Insomniac's Spider-Man on the PS4 and the PS5 remaster. Right. Now, that's Spider-Man, not Speederman. It's not a Sp- last not name. Not Spooderman. Not Spooderman. It's not a last Spooderman. name. So. This, well, I, I briefly talked about this before in the Steve Ditko episode we did, but right. this is arguably one of the best adaptations of yeah. the Spider-Man character yep, to yep. date. Yep. I agree. Better than the MCU. Okay. Yeah, it is much better than MCU. Yeah, and a little bit better good. than actually. Yeah, it, it is better than Amazing Spider-Man one and two. I have Honestly, watched. Yeah. But I have watched like some videos on like some of the like the the cinematics and some of the gameplay, oh, so and it looks good. really great. It it's looks good. really oh, and really the really gameplay good. is so yeah. good. The, the combat is good. It's this, the way your spider sense works, the way stealth is, because normally I'm not too fan of stealth in a video game like, unless it's Metal Gear Solid. Like unless it's built for it, right? Yeah. Well, Batman, Arkham, Salem, City, and Night, I just didn't like the stealth sections of those yeah. games. But Spider-Man made stealth fun. Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was um, really good. 
You played it too, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, very similar to the game I'm going to talk about. Um, it does, for me anyway, it might not. It does fail in the finale, but, I mean, how do you do a big video game finale? <laughs> sure. <laughs> but the game is so amazing. Yeah. How many yeah. of these games are there? Isn't there two, or is it just oh, the one? Okay, so there's this one, and there's Spider-Man Miles Morales. Right. Which is a shorter spin-off game, but still fun. It feels like an add-on, right? Um, That's what you were saying. Yeah. And the sequel is going to come out in 2023 with Tony Todd as Venom. Nice. Ooh, cool. Tony, Tony Todd. Yes. I love that, man. Nice. Yeah. Now, this he game... He was the original Candyman, by the way, kids. Yes, he was. Yeah. This game has so many costumes. And the way they mastered implementing the costumes into the game is the costumes give you abilities. Do they have cool. Bagman? Oh, yeah. They have yeah, they do. Oh, they do they really? They have yeah. Bombastic Bagmans um, in there. The nice thing is the costume comes with an ability, but it's not fixed to the costume, so you can actually tick. You can pick the abilities. That's cool. And put them on I like when games do yeah. that kind of stuff. That's what I like about Diablo. You can switch what your gear looks like. Yeah. I mean, you have to pay for it, but right. in-game money, not real money. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it's the same thing. Like, you, you keep the abilities, but you look the way you want to look. That's really cool. Yeah. I like when games nice. do that. Is the 2099 costume in there? That's yes. my favorite. Two yes. 2099 it's costumes. It's funny. The first 2099 costume, when the game first came out, it looked like a gimp suit. And then <laughs> like it, it did. It did. I would put it on, and I'd be like, oh, my God. But then somewhere. Who, my penance? It, w- it was fairly quick. They updated it, and it looked different. Like, it did look different. I was like, okay, now it looks normal. It looks like a suit now. Okay, so they yeah, But at first, it. it just looked like a skin-tight latex suit, and it was just like, ooh. Who's that now? Ooh, Peter. Now, I, usually, I don't want to spoil stuff like this, but it's getting out. It, this game's been out, what, a couple of years now? Yeah, a few Since years. 2018. Yeah, who's the, who's the big bad in this one? Auto Octavius. Yep. And the okay. Sinister, Cock, Cock. alongside the Sinister, Sinister Six. Sinister Six. Well and done. Cool. Well yes. Done. The, really? way, the way the villains are set up is yeah. so good. And I like all their designs as well. Is Craven this, there? This is no. the best now. No. This is the best version of Doc Ock since, uh, since Alfred Spider-Man Molina? 2. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, really well done. Yeah, the way he's yeah. written into the story and yep. um, Absolutely. how he and Norman Osborn used to be partners yep. when they started the company and Osborn screwed him over. <laughs> Which Oscorp actually doesn't mean Osborn. It, it in the game, it doesn't mean Osborne. It means that t- they used to call him the Oz's in college, I guess. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Otto Octavius. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And um, so he's cool. And he goes, that guy. He's just kind of complaining about him in game. It's now, here's funny. a question yeah. Is there any mention of Otto Octavius and uh, Aunt May? Being together in this no, game. No, Is there no. any hinting at it? No. And, and she, she no. In the game, do you want to see Alfred Molina hook up with uh, the aunt from the movies in this new movie? <laughs> uh, what is? Uh, why is her name escaping Rosemary me? Rosemary Harris? No. Oh, no, the new one. No, Marissa Tomei. I could go, I could, I could go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Very tasteful. <laughs> And um, <laughs> oh, no, it's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, was very yeah. I think this... passed away. I don't know. No, Who? she's still alive. Is she still alive? Oh, yeah. Okay. The story is primarily about a Peter Parker who's graduated college, pretty much like in Spider Man yeah, Two, mid twenties. Mid twenties. He, you know, has life struggles. He's trying to balance his life between Peter Parker and Spider Man. Yeah. And at the same time, there's this big conspiracy with Oscorp, um, Negative Man, yep. and. Dr. Octopus. Oh, that was my nickname in college. Negative Man? Yeah. No, 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 not Negative Man. I just hated everything. No, no, no. <laughs> negative Man is from Doom Patrol. Yeah. I'm talking about Mr. Negative. Mr. Negative, Martin yeah. Lee. I knew that didn't sound right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shut the podcast down, Tony. You made us all look bad. <laughs> okay. And one more thing i like to mention is Damn. some of the costumes included in the remastered version is the Amazing Spider-Man suit, the uh, first Andrew Garfield one with the yellow lenses. And right. That's one of the newer ones they introduced, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. um, a more armored version of this suit, but in my replay of the game, I stuck with the Tobey Maguire suit since it felt like I was playing really? Spider. Yeah, I felt like I was playing Spider-Man Four. See, I went with the classic. That's what I, I wanted the most. I played the whole game <laughs> in the that, classic. Is that suit. Teflon Spider-Man there? The one with like the the weird spider armor? Yeah, they got the like every version. Spider- of, really? Do they? Yes. Every version. Oh, of spider no, armor. Fantastic the Four s- Spidey, the silver yes. one. Yeah, the, yeah, every. Yeah. Oh, nice. They got yeah, bombastic bag man. Supida man. They I get, wish they got his no? mask and boxers. Oh man, that'd no, be cool. no, Superman, man, that would be good. That they don't, would they be have awesome. black. They don't have the black suit since I'm pretty sure they yeah, saved that I was for a so sequel. Bummed by that. I like the black suit. It's one of my favorites, it along is, with yeah. the 2099 suit. It's yeah. probably saved for a sequel. Um, and I don't. You I don't, do get a Black Widow suit that's close, but it's black and red. It's a cool yeah. suit though. That's one of the only other suits I like. And um, a lot of the suits are kind of. Eh. Cosmic Spider-Man. Cosmic Spider-Man's not in the game. Uh, yeah, that would have been a good suit. I didn't think yeah. about that. But what about Spider Ham. No. A spider ham skin. That would have been good, though. <laughs> yeah. That would have been weird. But okay, but right, aside cool. that. Good game. Yeah, Spider Man, Insomniac Spider Man, arguably the best Spider Man game ever. 
Yep. I want. I want to go that I think far. So. I yeah. Think so. I mean, I, it's on PS4, right? You can just get it on PS4. Yeah. I'm just gonna get yeah, but PS4. if you want it's the Andrew Garfield, if you really want, good. yeah, but if you want the Andrew Garfield suit, you, you have to you have to uh, get a no, PS5. No thanks. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you do that to be smart? <laughs> you gotta get a PS5, so I know yeah. you guys don't have one. You have right. to. It's, it's so All good right. looking. PS5 right. Master Race. Are you ready to go? Or you want me to go? Uh, whatever you want, man. I can go. Right, Let man. me go. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. No, you go. Okay. Um, I was gonna talk. I'm gonna talk briefly about one game. But there was another game that edged it out in my mind. So let me start off. I wanted to go with Arkham Asylum. I thought Arkham Asylum was a great... Up until the end. Up yeah. until... Yeah. <laughs> it was just a great game. And it was a great... It was almost, in a sense, to me, it was like an evolution and a darker version or a darker finale to, like, the animated series mm-hmm. in a lot of ways. It, it was like it... It, it, it felt I mean, yeah. all like the animated series. Hamilton mostly because Conway yeah. came back, yeah, right? Yeah, because of yeah. Hamilton yeah. Conway. Um, but it did feel a lot darker. Um, or Conroy, Conroy. Kevin yeah, Conroy, Kevin Conroy. Uh, Mark Hamill, Conroy. and I think Arlene and Sorkin voiced Harley Quinn for this one. Did she in that one? Yeah. Oh, um, that's cool. Um, but anyway, you know, it's such a great game, but the finale just... It's goofy. It's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Much worse it's than a really, It's now. a really dumb sort of... But because of yeah. that, it edged out for what I'm going to go with for my game, which is kind of laughable. I'm going to go with Lego Marvel Superheroes. <laughs> and the reason that's why the guys, Marvel I, I don't know why anyone would think that's it. That's a solid choice. That's and a the, solid and game. And the reason why is it is heavily influenced, at least the setup is influenced by Marvel's The Avengers that came out in what, 2012? Well, that's, yeah, when 2012 the, right? that's when the game came out. Um, but it's it really doesn't follow that story. It just has the helicarrier up in the sky and stuff. But I mean, you get to play like every freaking character every character and some of them have their own story missions and stuff it's just a blast i know there's a sequel yeah yeah yeah. the sequel starts to i guess isn't as good i haven't played the sequel but i had read it's not nearly as good it's not nearly as open Mm -hmm. because i know they started focusing they tried to tie everything into the movies and that's where it was kind of so every character is in this oh my so yeah i mean i'm sure some are missing but Turner D Century. It, it is a no. He's not in there. <laughs> oh come on! It has a phenomenal amount of. But characters. it has the Fantastic Four and X Men as, yes. as well. It oh, has cool. The X Men has a Fantastic Four. It has the Guardians of the Galaxy. Never will you see all of them together it has, in Marvel. It has then. the Spider Man black suit. It has the thing. I mean, Fantastic. So Four. what you're saying is that this game is better than the Spider Man. All game. the version of the Hulk, all the versions and enemies of the Hulk. I mean, it has. Wait a minute. Is this the one uh, where you could play as the Lufarino Hulk? Or is that? Uh, or is that? Okay, that, that's probably part two. That part two. Part two. Yeah. Yeah. Hulk cool. is a DLC character, and oh, he's really? like he's short, and he has like green hair. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it's just fun. It's like a pick up, put down game. Um, I just, I mean, you get bored of it, but you never get tired of it. You know what I mean? Like, sure. You know, just pick it up and do I it. I want to play as Ben Grimm. Pow! I'm Grimm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanna, yeah. I wanna nice. Play, yeah. I want to play as. Uh, God, Ant Man, pow, Ant Man. Any shrinks, they all have their own abilities. It's cool. Nice. It's a lot of fun. Um, um, a little d- on the goofy side, but a lot of fun. I didn't get the, I didn't play the Marvel ones, but I did play Lego Batman Two, which is basically Justice League game since pretty much the whole Justice League roster. Lego Batman Two was also very good. Yeah, yeah it shows up there. So here's a here's a question: What yeah. character was in it that you were like, what? He's in here or she's in here? That's um, amazing. Ant Man surprised me because it was way me. before, way before the um, movie movie came out. Um, a lot of the characters you had to unlock, I had to go and unlock, I think, Doctor Doom and the Statue of Liberty. Oh, that that's, was, that's, that's that what you really worked cool. on most of the oh, time, I did. didn't you? I did. yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, it's cool to jump off the helicarriers, Ben Grimm. Um, Nova, when I saw Nova, Ooh, I was that's like, cool. yes! Oh, my God, they got Nova. Yeah, it was just cool. So this just, is the best Marvel game ever? Um yeah, <laughs> better, even better than that new Avengers game, oh, uh, which I don't know, which is I hear is garbage. Oh, where is. Captain America's in hockey pads, basically. I don't know. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, there's a new, there's a new. It's funny because there's a new comic book called Batman the Imposter, and the guy is clearly wearing like pads over a suit, and it looks like the pads that Captain America's wearing in that game. And I was yeah. like, that must be intentional. There's so many. <laughs> pro- it looks bad. There's so many problems with that yeah, game, yeah. like ugh, um, especially when it came to. DLC and microtransactions. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the cool thing, I mean, Marvel Super, I mean, yeah, Lego Marvel Superheroes, you know, a lot of stuff regenerates. So, I mean, you just keep collecting those little gold <laughs> little gold Lego bits, and, you know, you have to unlock different characters. But it's nothing so challenging. It, like I said, it's a big pick-up, pick put-down game, and it has a story to it. It's a lot of fun and has a lot of Manhattan there, and you can swing and you can fly and you can do all sorts of stuff. Is the one with Galactus? That sounds cool. Galactus is there, yeah. All right, now, okay. So, yeah. That sounds awesome. It is awesome. I want to play Because that. I remember with the second one, 
it, the MCU part he's really tiny, started. Though. He's little. Yeah, with the second. He's just little though. He's with little the guy. second game, the MCU part started really rubbing in. Like Spider Man's design was the homecoming suit. Oh, uh, did it? Yeah. Twenty ninety nine was in that game, from what I heard. Which okay, that's pretty cool. He's in the he's in the first one. Oh. That suit is, I think. Oh, pretty okay. Sure. So I'm guessing they made him into DLC in the, in the second one. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's been a while, mm. but. It edged out. It edged out Arkham Arkham Asylum, which is a great mm. game. Don't misunderstand. Just great the end. Game. Just the end. It's huh? just you get to the finale and you're like, what is what happened? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're I thought it would be more nuanced than this, and he's just yeah, like, no, it's yeah. it's Joker on roids. It's, it's Joker, Joker on, on roids. Super steroids. Yeah. yeah. And Bat- I mean, Batman you, just beats him by. You do this thing where there's yeah. like, I want to say it's called a forty man melee, which is similar to uh, you know the end of. Uh, Shenmue with the 80 man A melee or whatever. Right. That's cool. I mean, because it's hard because you're fighting, you have to fight through his henchmen, and there's one spot where they're literally just in a big room waiting for you. And you're like, all right, let's get it, let's get this on, you know? And it's challenging, but then you get to the boss fight and you're like, what? (laughs) This. This no, what happened? No here, nuance. Yeah. And We're just yeah. gonna smack you right in the yeah. face with it. And it's easy, Joker, uh, final boss. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's not even that hard. Yeah, you just wait for him to get his claws stuck I did, or whatever. Yeah, I did beat that game, yeah. and I was surprised at the Joker thing. I was like, oh, really? Come on, they couldn't this have found is, like a yeah. better way to do this. But it's other than that, such a good game. Yeah. A lot of he gets to be a detective a lot, which I've mentioned on this channel before. Is always my complaint is Batman has ceased becoming a detective in modern comics. Did you finish I'm, Arkham City? No, because like you know what I once. Once I got the mission where I had to disable like the satellite transmitters or whatever, and then Batman uses technology to find it, and then he gets there and he basically punches it into <laughs> punches until it explodes. And, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. That's <laughs> what Superman is for. Yeah. Come on. I was like, I so mean, yeah, we're just gonna have Batman punch things into some. I love, yeah, I love how he's super smart until he gets to the side. He goes, I punch now. I punch now. Batman yeah. punch now, and yeah. then he just punches the crap. I mean, out. Arkham City I, does I have like, a good story always, though. It does. Yeah, yeah. Especially the final. Strange it, has a, it has a better final boss. It does have a better final. And boss. the big reveal that you know, Joker this whole time was Clayface. I guess I did finish it. Because <laughs> I remember Hugo Strange. Maybe I did. Finish. I oh did. no, I finished that game too. I thought Hugo Strange was the final boss. No, oh, um, then I didn't finish it. Basically, the reveal is that healthy Joker isn't Joker at all. It's Clayface. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, anyway, that's all I got. Um, it was Clayface the whole time. You ready for your guys? Let's take it back to the year when video games were king. Specifically, one video game that trumps them all. Guys, 1999's Superman, no. the new Superman Adventures, or Superman 64. What? <laughs> That's right. This is a bit. That no, no <laughs> bit here, my friend. No bit here. Superman 64 was the king. Is the king of superhero games. Mm. Name a better game. I'll wait. On the N64. <laughs> On anything. Any any superhero any. game. Superman for Atari 2600. Lies. Uh, <laughs> Guess up, man. Superman and VTEC or Leapfrog. <laughs> Close, but lies. <laughs> Guys, there's no better game to be Superman in than this game, right? Like, who doesn't want to be Superman, right, in real life? And fly through rings <laughs> and solve puzzles <laughs> and only be able to go around and explore certain parts of the city and not all, all of the of city, the city right. with the weird noxious kryptonite gas. <laughs> Guys, 1999 will not be topped for video games because of this game right here. Okay, what's your real game? <laughs> that is my real game, guys. All oh right, my God. let me know in the comments what you think of. <laughs> Get out all of right, it. all right. Okay, okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you my real game. Uh, so I, I thought about it for a bit, and it was a, it was a tie between this game that I'm going to talk about in a second, right. and Ultimate Spider-Man for the GameCube. Oh, that game's good. Which I thoroughly enjoyed. Ultimate Spider-Man. That's when you get the to, one you get to play as Venom and eat children. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was a good. I don't game. remember that part. I'm like, <laughs> maybe. I, well, then again, maybe I didn't try to eat children, Tony. Was, I did. <laughs> <laughs> of course. There was the Spider-Man Shattered or something. That was oh, a good Shattered one Dimensions. Too. That one's a good one too. No, yeah. no, this one was for okay. GameCube, uh, uh, which was pretty fun actually. It was Shattered remember. Dimensions is the one where Mysterio becomes a giant monster in the end. That um, uh, that's the part I'm like, what the hell? Oh, is that the uh, one with uh, Neil Patrick Harris? Yeah, a Spider-Man. That was fun. The first one was fun. I enjoyed the first one. No, no, no. This is okay. Ultimate Spider-Man. This Ultimate is for the Spider-Man. Game. Now, this, the game that beat it out is um, 
X Men Legends Two: Rise of Apocalypse. I don't know if you guys played oh, that. Oh yeah, game. that's like Ultimate Last. I just yeah, X-Men. yeah yeah. So there was an X Men Legends One, which was also really good. But I thoroughly enjoyed uh, X Men Legends Two, which was released in two thousand five. Uh-huh. Um, it's basically like an action RPG, but with the X Men. Oh, cool. So you just run around in a team of four. Like mm-hmm. there's like so many characters. At least at the time there was. Um, yeah. And you basically just run around through stages, obviously, you know, grinding down, uh, uh, you know, weirdos and, like, uh, bosses. And then you, you would get experience points to build up your favorite characters. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a lot of fun that you could play. Uh, I think that one was the one you could play online because the first one was only couch co-op. But this one you could play online, which I never did on the, well, on the GameCube. Uh, the servers don't even work too. Yeah. No, no, was no. GameCube? Game, well, I had it on the GameCube, but it was yeah. out on the PS2 and the Xbox and... Uh, the greatest system of all time, which was completely underrated, the, the Nokia Engage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, really? It wasn't a Nokia. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, they tried yeah, to come out you, with this. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> just real quick, yeah. real quick. Spent a lot of money there, on it. Yeah, yeah, there was this system that came out called an Engage yeah. by Nokia, which is like this big. It was. It looked like a handheld, and uh, it was really bad. It didn't do very. So well. Nokia entered the gaming market sphere. They, they tried to do a handheld gaming console, and uh, uh, it didn't work. Didn't do well. It didn't do very well. Um, huh. But yeah. So this was released on all the big platforms at the time. Obviously, PS2, Xbox, uh, Windows, PSP, nice. the Nokia <laughs> and Engage. I know the <laughs> GameCube. Uh, those games a had a lot system. of cool alternate costumes for the X. They did, yeah. yeah. Um, th- this game was was weird. It came out like they advertised this game right after, like I think about, I believe a month or two after the first game came out, and, oh, really? the, and within a year was already out. So wow. it came out the year right after the first one. Um, it was a lot of fun because in this one you could play as uh, Magneto, m- uh, X Men, yeah. and uh, uh, Brotherhood uh, mutants. So you could play as Magneto, which I was like, oh, nice. Magneto. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then of course you build up your characters with your XP. Uh, there's au- now this game had really awesome cutscenes for a GameCube game. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, so they were beautiful. Especially cut with scenes. Archangel. <laughs> yeah, they all looked so good. Um, it was worked on by Blur Studios, who also did the the Arkham games. Yeah, um, sure. yeah, uh, a couple of the Halo titles. And uh, the environments of Pandora in Adam's favorite movie, James Cameron's Avatar. <laughs> oh. I thought, I thought Rock City did the, huh? Yeah, Ro- Rock City did the Arkham games, not. Or. No, no, they worked on they worked on them. So oh. like they they didn't like. They weren't the. They're, they're mostly studio, a production but, company. Like they yeah. do like a lot of like, you know, backgrounds and stuff like that. Like all the cinematics were done by them, but like they didn't work on like, the actual game. Hmm. Um, they only did some stuff for those games, and then of course they, Pandora and Adam's favorite movie Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Dances with wolves. Dances, <laughs> Dances with wolves in space. In space. Um. Yeah. Yeah, or, I mean, or more, more mm-hmm. directly, Fern Gully in right. space. Now I'll give you guys it's literally Fern Gully. In yeah, space. which Fern Gully is a much better movie. I'll give you, I'll give you guys some guesses as to who the big bad in this one is. Apocalypse. And what, Tony? You got it the first try. And and there's a well. Do you want, you want, you want me to talk about the? End That's fine, scene? dude. It's old. Yeah. Okay. Mister Sinister is in the like last cutscene of the game. Yeah. What? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You go to Genosha. You get to go to. Um, uh, the the Savage Land, like yeah. it's it's a it's a fun game. I yeah. lo- I played it for like hour. even after I beat it, I played it again. Oh yeah, and, again. The, and of course the X Mansion, the the mansion gets blown up. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes. Yeah, Jeez. it's an awesome game. It's one I of my absolute favorites. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you should try to go back and play it if you can. Yeah. X Men Legends, the first one is really is is really good, but I really like this one because yeah. you could be Magneto. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who wouldn't want to be Magneto or or your favorite s- superhero, you, Sabretooth? You, you can be Magneto in Lego Marvel <laughs> superheroes. <laughs> it's, it's not the same, and you know oh, it. Oh, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we uh, end the show, is there any honorable mentions? Anything you guys want to mention? What were you really fighting uh, to put there? And then you just, this one um, that you talked about. Just well, I would have went with Insomniac Spider Man, mm-hmm. <laughs> but Tony and Snacks. Arkham whatever. City. I, Too quick. Uh, Arkham City. Um, wow. Yeah, I said I didn't like that one. Um, I was really grappling between Arkham Asylum and Lego. <laughs> uh, well, now that you mentioned uh, the Legos. Some of the Legos are pretty, I mean, as far as like games go, they're pretty expansive. So they're, yeah. they, they can just be a lot of fun. Right. Um, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, which has a crap ton of planets and wow. way more characters. And you can play as Jim Lee and Jeff Johns for some reason. Really? <laughs> Uh, ew, what? ew, you want to be the supervillain Jeff Johns? And you could, you could also play as Kevin Smith. <laughs> uh, oh. 
But um, it has, hey, it has gun to your gun to your head. You play as Kevin Smith or Jeff Johns. <laughs> Jeff Johns. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Smith didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> it has the most un- uh, like. There's so much. Big- there's a lot of unusual mm. things about the story of Lego Batman 3 Beyond know what Gotham. Jeff Johns did. <laughs> now I'm like, now no, I feel we'll bad. talk about it afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Now I feel bad. Maybe I should pick like, Kevin okay. Smith. Yeah, you should have. But Kevin Smith wrote the. the no, evil, you still he should. He wrote have. the Evil the Men Do. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's a listen, crime that's enough. not as yeah. bad. It's not Sorry, as bad. Go ahead, go. All right, to go over briefly, because we're ending soon, uh, some of the more unusual things that happen on Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham includes. Well, first of all, it's I think it's the first Lego game with voice acting in it, mm-hmm. instead oh. of going, uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 I think that was two. Yeah, that was two. But three had voice acting as well. Huh. Um, apparently, Batman has an entire rocket inside the Batcave to go to space with. That seems very Silver mm, Age. Yeah. Silver yeah. Age Batman-y. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Which works for Lego yeah, Batman. Yeah, yeah. A whole, well, it has, not only does it have all the Lanterns characters, but it has a whole entire Legion of Doom and Justice Society characters. Except except for Hawkman in the story, because in the story he's like locked in the cage the whole time, and people yeah. just forget about Hawkman. Spider Man Two was really great. It's sort of the spirit. Insomniac Spider Man is really the uh, spiritual was, oh, successor okay, yeah. to Spider Man Two. Yep, and has the pizza theme. Um, the only thing, one thing that bummed me out is they didn't. Ha- I would have liked at least, n- clearly not the same frequency, but I've liked at least have to catch one or two kids' balloons in the <laughs> newer Spider-Man game. Yeah. In the old one, it was like... And make it every, super hard. Every though. few minutes, my balloon! You're yeah. like, oh, oh my, my God, God, this kid, yeah. I would have just been... After a couple, I would have just been like, nope, you lost your balloon. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I don't care. Right. I don't care if I don't get 100% right. on this. The last weird part about Lego Batman through Beyond Gotham is the final boss. Brainiac brainwashes Superman, turns him into a giant, and you have to fight him in the Fortress oh, of Solitude. God, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you have to like undo his brainwashing. Mm. 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 Sounds and like yet, Superion's and, allergy yeah. to Big Bismuth. <laughs> <Right>. and, and, <laughs> and Batman has to use compassion and friendship just to snap Superman out of it. And nice. I forgot how the he power of friendship. friendship. <laughs> it's the most powerful superpower that exists. Yeah. Right. I had to fight the urge to put Baldur's Gate on mine, but it had a very steep learning curve, and, and I ended up and not no, beating it. And no superheroes. And I, yeah, and I, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. They, you know, it's a good thing I didn't pick it then, because then I would not have understood the assignment. Anyway, those are uh, those are our favorites, guys. If you have any uh, favorite uh, comic book video games, let us know in the comments down right. below. Yeah, if, yeah. Uh, if you didn't like our choices, let us know in the comments yeah, below. Yeah, let us know. We'll answer uh, them. Yeah, hit the like or dislike and subscribe button. And yeah, comment. Yes. We will yeah. answer every uh, comment. You want to do well, plugins? Well, I don't have any. Real quick, yeah, Time let's do that. some plugs. All quick right. plugs. Uh, what do you got, Tony? Yeah, I'm in Toku Titan Cast, which live stream that happens, well, it should happen every Saturday, hopefully. That's what we're trying to aim for. Is that and video of you doing the dance? Up? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, guys. We, we now have our merch in TeePublic. Um, nice. TeePublic now has this. Hippie uh, recycle material. You can oh yeah, the eco wow. the eco friendly shirts. Yeah, I, Anthony. Yeah, I just ordered one that, wow. that says Toku Titan Cast in it. Says, you know, I came up with the I name. I have to check out the material if you wear it in. Yeah, yeah. it's it's cool. cool. That's cool. cool. Yeah, you got anything? Uh, uh, oh oh yeah. So Thursday, I'm just gonna go <laughs> ahead and. Uh, it's my cheat day. I'm just going to have a meatball sub. So nice. uh, right. if you guys want to see that, I guess I could live stream it. Just let me know in the comments. I'll just eat a, a turn. And, and I'll like eat a meatball is... sub. Yeah, right there. Yeah, Tony, I, is that I, new video of you doing the, the does he hurt Sam Raimi Spider-Man the dance? dance up yet? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's up already? It's okay, yeah. So go over there and watch Tony introduce himself as... <laughs> Yeah, and Titan Goji's YouTube uh, channel. Yeah. And it's then, Toby Maguire and Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, then, yeah, T Public slash GoFenris or Oddity Collectibles got some cool, funky t shirts. Hopefully, we'll have some up soon really, that's once we get some uh, designs. Yes. Get the uh, heavy material. Finalized if I ever can sit down and do some. <laughs> Um, yeah. I'd uh, like to do more. I wish I, I wish I, I wish I had more time. <laughs> I just never seemed to have time. I, there was time now. Yeah. It's not uh, fair. Uh, well. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to take off, but you can uh, hopefully we'll catch you guys next week with whatever topic we want to talk about. And, so. uh, catch, yeah, catch us during the week with some one-shots, too, because we have different one-shots. Oh, yeah, that's right. We've been posting a, a few one-shots. They're a little bit, I think, at least mine are a little bit rough, but we're getting there. Yeah, we're going to get better. Yeah, we're going to get better, so uh, stay tuned for that, and we will see you guys next week. Good night. Yep. Night. <laughs>